Hello guys! How are you? Shout out to all the cabin crew aspirants! Guys, these videos are especially made for you, okay? Mm -hmm. for you. Kumusta ang mga wings natin dyan? Tumutubo na ba? Mm -hmm. You know, before you know it, you have full-grown wings and you will be able to fly around the world na, okay? Kapit lang guys, don't let the small bumps yes. along the road stop you, okay? Welcome once again to our channel. It has been quite a while since our last video. Anyways, Today, we will be talking about the interview question, why do you want to be a flight attendant or a cabin crew? This particular question will surely be asked yes. on your next cabin crew interview. Mm -hmm. For the aspirants, you will also know through this video if this job is really suitable for you. So, stay tuned and keep watching! Jax, um, do you remember this question? Was it asked on your cabin crew interview? Wow, wow that was a long time ago, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I think I, I was asked this question. So how did you answer it? Well, I, uh, let me see, I remember I told them the truth. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm trying to recall. I told them how, first of all, the cabin crew job was in, uh, introduced to me. Okay. And how I've gotten to know that there is such a job. You know, I was very young and naive that time. And then I told them how it appealed to me and who inspired me mm -hmm. and how my aspiration for this career grew more and more over time. Basically, you know, I told them my story. Okay, that's great. What about you, Sess? Was it asked on your interview? Yes, I did the same. Basically, I told them how that seed of dream of um, becoming a flight attendant was planted in my heart, mm -hmm. what and who inspired me, and why I believe that it was a perfect fit for me. Okay, so it was similar, no? Yes. You're answering my answer. Yes. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. So, do you remember what we always tell you to do? In answering all of the interview questions do not try to be just like the majority don't be ordinary mm -hmm. be unique okay let us go through some of the common mm -hmm. answers to the question why do you want to be a cabin crew you know answers like um, I want to travel and see the world mm. Mm. I know it's a good uh, paying job and I want to help my family I love people, mm. I'm a people person, I love meeting people from the different parts of the world. Mm. It has always been my dream to be a cabin crew. You know, these questions are common. Basically, these answers will always come up one way or the other. Mm. We advise you to try to avoid them or, you know, make them more interesting and genuine. Yeah. Guys, here is basically why the interviewers ask this particular question. Number one, they want to know if you are fully aware of the roles and responsibilities of a cabin crew. They want to know that you don't only know what this career can do to you in your life, but also if you know what you must give in terms of loyalty, effort, dedication, hard work, and sacrifices. Number two, they want to know if uh, you have a perfect formula mm -hmm. to be a great cabin crew mm. question is what is the formula yes so what is the formula well you know some applicants have the passion or the deep-seated desire to be a cabin crew unfortunately they do not have the qualifications and the skills that would make them an effective crew member in other words Passion plus not qualified equals not a good formula. On the other hand, some applicants have all the qualification mm -hmm. skills and may seem to be perfect cabin crew materials. 
but their desire and passion is not that deep. In other words, qualified plus no passion equals X. Or not the perfect formula. Yes. So those two are bad combinations and are not the correct formula. Okay. X. So the perfect formula is passion plus mm. qualification or skills. You know, this will make a great cabin crew and this is what the recruiters are looking for yes initially to have the proper qualifications is key you must align your answer to the qualifications they are looking for but you must not stop at that you must add emotion to your answers and display your passion for the job and for the cabin crew career yes that's right this is important to take note, okay? Because although your qualifications can take you a step closer to the job or even get you the job, you know, having the passion will make you want to stay even if it hurts. Aww. One may be very good at one thing and produce good results from doing this one thing. But if she is not passionate about what she is doing, a small bump along the way will not make her stay. There will be no sense of fulfillment in her achievements. That's right. She will become robotic eventually. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of cabin crew become robotic eventually because uh, a lot of them got hired because of pure qualifications with no real passion. Mm -hmm. You know, and the real reason for doing the job or for staying on the job is has become purely because of financial reasons. I guess we all know how to be qualified for this mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. If you meet the airline requirements for the age, the educational requirements, the physical requirements, the communication skills requirements, then you are considered qualified. So a lot of people are actually qualified for this job. But, you know, what will make you stand out is if you can show your passion. Mm -hmm. You can make them understand that your desire is not superficial, but is deep-seated. Yes. Again, mm -hmm. tell them that story. Mm -hmm. Hit them emotionally. You know, make that human connection. After all, this will make you most qualified for the job. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have, as a cabin crew, real human connection to your day-to-day -day customers. And this is the only way you will find joy and fulfillment in what you will be doing on board. Yes. So, to answer the question, why do you want to become a cabin crew? The best way possible, you must be able to prove to them that you are well qualified for the job that you know and understand the most difficult and challenging parts of the job mm -hmm. and that in spite of this your heart and your whole being still screams that this is what you would love to be doing for the most part of your life now aspirants mm -hmm. okay Earlier, we said that through this video, you will be able to find out if this job is suitable for you. So, before convince, convincing yourself that this is really what you want to become, don't just research on how you can have this job, but also research about the job itself. Not just the perks, the high salary, mm -hmm. the travel, yes. the glamour, but also research on the neg negative things about the job, the disadvantages yes. of the job. Because mind you guys, there are a lot. Yeah. Okay, It is not an easy peasy job. Yes. You will not have a normal life. You will mm -hmm. not have regular sleep. What else? That's you will true. not have normal holidays. Okay, mm -hmm. You will not have the same days off as yeah. your friends. You know, a lot of other lot know, of negative things. and stressful things. You should find out all these things before you decide it. This is what you really want to yes. become. So the question, why do you want to be a cabin crew? Really reflect on it. Reflect on it, guys. Yeah. Evaluate yourself. What are your real honest reasons for wanting to be a cabin crew? Guys, 
the application process itself is very hard. Really hard. Then the training is even harder. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Then finally, you start flying and realize you cannot handle it. The stress, physical, emotional, the depression. Life is short. You can save yourself from all these troubles yeah. if you can refocus your energy and time to what you truly believe and feel in your heart is a job you will be passionate about. Yeah, passion is really important. Yes. Otherwise, you will be wasting mm -hmm. your time or you will be working every single day of your life. But if you love yes. what you're doing and you're passionate about it, they say you won't be needing to work a single day in your life. Yes, imagine you're going to work half of your life on, your, on that tube. Exactly. Jacqueline, why do you want to become a cabin crew? I want to become a cabin crew and I have confirmed that this is really the career I should be pursuing because ever since that experience on board when I was nine years old, when I was traveling with my grandmother, since that encounter with a very nice, beautiful, comforting and caring flight attendant, when I felt sick and I was vomiting on the flight, it's like my future was shown to me. I immediately felt deep inside like this is what I want to be doing. Of course I was young and I had to be sure that what I felt was real. And as time goes by, I began researching about the job and I found out that it is a very challenging job. A lot of sacrifices have to be made. It demands real hard work composure in very stressful situations and a lot of patience. Surprisingly, those things did not put me off. I thought about that flight attendant who took care of me when I was nine and I admired her even more having known all the facts about the job, how she still managed to be genuinely nice, caring and composed. At least that's the energy I received from her. And that is the same energy I would want to give to my future passengers or customers. So I really want to become cabin crew. Okay, that's great. Thank you. So that's it. That's how you should answer if asked why you want to be a cabin crew. And if you have any customer service related experience, then you can also insert this yeah. in your answer mm -hmm. and say that you choose to do those jobs to gain experience and mm -hmm. qualifications to sharpen your service skills, your problem solving and communication skills, and your teamwork skills among others which you know and believe are essential for landing the cabin crew job that you are really aiming for. Okay, so there you go. So I feel like we have uh, hit two birds in yes. one stone today. Mm -hmm. You know, aspirants, don't think that uh, we are trying to discourage you. This is just yes. real talk and sometimes reality bites. Because a lot of aspirants are hyping about how to become cabin crew, but also still do not fully understand mm. the demands of the job you know physically emotionally menta mm -hmm. mentally how draining it could be this is totally understandable because what you usually see are mostly yeah. the, perks, Only the perks the travels mm. the glamour mm -hmm. of the uniforms the makeup you seldom see the ugly the truth, truth. Find out more about the possible reasons that will put you off, you know, yes. to, to make you lose interest in this job. Uh, look for the bad experiences of cabin crew. Listen to their real talk, their complaints. If you have, you know, already found out these things, the, the not so nice things about the job, and still want in your hearts to become a cabin crew, plus you are qualified then you can say that this job is suitable for you. Remember the formula, passion and qualification makes a great cabin crew. Guys, feel free to comment below yeah. if you want to share the real reason why you want to be a cabin crew mm -hmm. and how your dream started, okay? Okay, so until next time, 
please watch out for our next video about the question how do you see yourself in five years time or ten years bye, bye.